Hi everybody, good afternoon, it's your girl and my natural treasure coming to you with another video update on what's going on in my 2012 natural hair journey. So here I am in the month of October and it's been 10 months and of course, like I've said before, it's been a bittersweet journey. I have had a love-hate relationship with my natural hair, but definitely more love than hate. So thank you for stopping by my channel today. I ask that you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my blog at www.minaturaltreasure.wordpress.com. So today I'm going to be talking about um, oil cleansing and um, how I sort of came up on um, doing this oil routine on my face just by um, a challenge that I started. So in September I um, got into a natural hair castor oil challenge with Kiki Curly Girl and um, I'll have her link posted um, below. So what the challenge was is to see how long your hair can grow in the four months. So between September 1st and the end of, in the end of December uh, I'll be chronologically in my um, castor oil journey. So, so far, I can say that I do like what I'm seeing with the castor oil. Now, I did buy just a regular pharmacy grade castor oil from Rite Aid um, store. I was supposed to have gotten the cold press castor oil, but I didn't pay enough attention. And so, this has been working just as well. But I'm going to be getting the uh, cold press castor oil next month. I um, wanted to say that I have been using it on my edges. I've been using it in the top of my hair where I had um, some breakage or um, slow growth. And it has been growing my hair out about a quarter of an inch so far per month. Um, I have noticed since I've been using the castor oil, apparently some of it had gotten on my cheeks and on my face. And I began to break out even more on my face. So I did a little more research and found out that you can cleanse your face with oil. I know, I have oily skin so I was like, how can I cleanse my face with oil? But yes you can. So I did more and more research and found out that you can use a combination of oils. You can just use one or the other. But um, what, it, what it actually is doing is the oil is actually going in say this is the castor oil that I'm using. It's going in, it's a natural astringent and um, antiseptic so it's clearing up my skin from the inside out. So my oily skin is meeting the oil and it's naturally and um, it's working very well, very effective. So I'm going to continue on. It's been about, um, like I say, two weeks now um, that I've been using it on my face and I didn't mean to do it but since it was in my hair, I guess it was getting on my face. And so what I also added was just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to kind of see how that is going. So, so far, cleansing my face with castor oil and extra virgin olive oil. I don't have any exact measurements because I just know that I use a little bit more um, castor oil than I do um, EVO oil. So that's what's going on there. And as you can see, I have some gray hair. I decided so far to not um, to not dye it to kind of see how long it actually is when I take these out. Now I put these kinky, these two two strand twists in my hair um, on Saturday, and I'm not finished at all. I just pretty much pretty much got half of my hair done. Some of them have been coming out, but that's okay. But as you can see, I still have some really short parts in the bag but you know I think I'll try and do a little bit more and not really worry about it fuss about it too much it's no big deal uh, what else has been going on well let's see um, again so this, it's been growing my hair my edges my hair has been softer since I've been using the castor oil it's been thicker my uh, the, the very very short spots are coming in really nice so um, like I say that's been working out really well the other thing I've been doing is um, I get my eyebrows threaded. If you could see my eyebrows here, I get my eyebrows threaded 
at um, a mall here at Eastland Mall in Harper Woods, Michigan at uh, called Perfect Eyebrows. And I really do like what they do. I've been doing it for about a year now and the young lady had asked me to start using um, vitamin E oil on my eyebrows to tame my eyebrows and give them some control and so that they can lay down and um, they were really unruly so she was having a hard time with the thread you know catching them up and it was very painful but now it's much easier the extra virgin olive oil is trained my eyebrows they're lying down the hairs are very soft and easy for her to um, to arch so again castor oil and EVOO on my scalp um, vitamin E on my eyebrows and my lashes and uh, of course um, oil cleansing um, on my face uh, castor oil and EVOO to cleanse my face. The other thing is uh, my lashes. Uh, like I said, I put the oil on my lashes, you know, at night and when I'm cleansing my face or whatever. And so I do not use, uh, I do not get, you know, extensions or whatever on my lashes. I do use my own, um, well, these are my own lashes. And this is the part that I use Kiss Mascara that you can find at a beauty supply store. This is not the waterproof kind. So I absolutely love this. I don't know if you could see, like from the side. Um, these are my lashes. Hope you can see that. But anyway, um, so you may want to pick up some some Kiss mascara. It comes off very well. Like you can really like pull it off, and you have these little, you know, like little tubes, and it just slides right off. No, just leave any black residue or anything under your eyes. I absolutely love this mascara. Um, other than that, um, just some, you know, lip gloss um, right now. I don't have any makeup because, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to um, heal my skin up with the oil cleansing and see how that is going. I also put it on my neck as well as, I guess, the decollete or whatever you want to call it. Put it on that area. So it, the only other, when I do go out, like, you know, go out, out and want to, like, really put on some makeup or something, I do use this uh, MAC Studio Fix. So it sort of gives me that even coverage. I don't have to use a lot. And, um, and it comes off easy, especially when I'm using the uh, castor oil to clean up my face. So every, all my makeup comes off really um, nice and clean because I'm using the castor oil and to, to cleanse everything off. Um, the only other thing that I do... Uh, a couple times a week when I, I'm washing my face and this is usually in the morning I use this Shea Moisture African Black Soap that I found at Walmart I think it was about ten dollars and a little goes a long way so I know I'll have this for a while and you, I use it on my body too but mostly my face and I add the Shea Moisture with guess what baking soda yes I put a little baking soda with the Shea Moisture rub it in make a little paste light and just rub that all over my face in the morning and it gives a really nice little scrub. So, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I have that EVOO and castor oil sort of marinated, you know, through my face. And so I kind of use the, the shea butter, butter and the um, baking soda to kind of like just clean up all the extra residue and um, just take a little vitamin E, put it on my eyebrow. Maybe put it on, you know, around my mouth and put it on some of the dark spots. Because vitamin E is supposed to clear up dark spots. But I've kind of got two things going. I'm cleansing with the, I'm cleansing with one of the oils and the other oil. And I'm trying to clear up the dark spots. So I hope that it all works out. And we'll see how it goes at the end of the four months. And I'll be, you know, getting back with you. Just wanted to stop by and say hi to everybody and let you know what your girl is doing. I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope that this has been informational for you and um, I hope that you also subscribe to my blog. So I'll be seeing you around and love you. Bye bye.